watching this from. My name is Pastor Shukrani Mutaki. I've been privileged to be the guest speaker of a wonderful, powerful, transforming Kemburi in Uganda Union. You were given a fake radio. Instead of getting a Panasonic, you were given a Panasonic. Turn to your neighbor and tell them you do not understand. You see, what had happened was God had already said that you will surely die. But when the devil came up, he just twisted a statement and he said, You shall not die. We decided that all our fields and conferences in Uganda, seven of them, we come and do this year's camping for the youth in Chuanga. Why in Chuanga? We want the young people to catch up the spirit of Chuanga. We want the rest of the church members who have heard about Chuanga but have not been here to pick up the spirit of Chuanga. This is the, rather a new beginning for Chuanga so that from now onwards we will have regular programs so that this place becomes at the center of the church and mission in Uganda here. Kemporees that have attended, bearing in mind the theme of the Kemporee itself, transforming hearts. It's a theme that I have worked on in order to present to different youths, but in working on the theme, I have found myself getting the transformation, renewing my vows and my connection with Christ. I've been blessed to be in Uganda. The welcoming was very great. I thank the hosts that have been here and I've learned a lot of things. Let me mention a few. Number one, I have seen a good organization. Uh, the youth director of the union is connected to youth directors in the conference and there is a big connection in the whole chain of leadership from the union to the local church. I have been privileged to move around in the camps, the various camps from different conferences. I have learned a lot. I have learned that the youth in Uganda are well equipped in various studies, but I've also seen that they are committed. My advice and my hope is this, that this Kempori may leave a mark in your heart because it was a Kempori geared to transform your heart. May your heart be connected to Christ as we wait for him to come and take us home. Wish you all the best wherever you all we are as you push on in this life, getting ready for a life to come. Our vision is that we will set up a museum in this place. And that museum will help amplify the history of the church in the country because this is the very place where we established the very first mission in this country. Uh, the foundation you see, this is where the first missionary's house was built and the walls you see, they are as old as um, they were put there in 1927, so they have been preserved up this time and the, our intention is to see that this historical home of our first pioneer is well maintained, is constructed and it becomes a historical site where people from the entire world will come and study about the history of Adventism in Uganda. The trees you see there decorated, those trees were also put up by this missionary in the name of Petro Lissasi and they have also been there since 1927. Uh, the picture you see on one of these trees, a man and a woman, that is our first missionary, Pastor Petro Lissasi with his wife 
as they were opening up Adventism in Uganda. Since 1927, there is a lot which has taken place, we need it captured and stored for the future generations in a historical place, which is a museum, which can also attract not only church members, but other tourists, local and international. Secondly, this place started as a missionary place, and we want to revive that spirit. We will have a missionary training institute here so that our people will capture the spirit of missionary work and these can go to their communities. But they are not only going to go as preachers of the world. We need them to pick other practical skills so that they can help people in self-development. So a missionary school, a vocational training school where our people, our members will come and be trained on how to use those skills to transform their personal economies is very, very important. Even members of the public badly need those kind of skills. So those are the things we have in the pipeline so that this place is brought back to life and it will add value to the rest of the church members in the country. In 2027, we believe we will hold a Uganda Union camp meeting here. Hanuna and Jakutekaho camp meeting ya Uganda Yona. And all our, our regions will come for pilgrimage and we celebrate a hundred years camp meeting on this ground. Mm -hmm.